everybody let's end this video talk about some other layout selection we could use it when we develop the apps so i just want to go overview of these tools and how you could use it imagine you have a form form ask user to if he is male or female then ask him if he married or not then give him a selection if he graduate or not i want to do this different layout tool to do this operation so you as you see as i understand we have three things so i would say i have i have to use vertical layout because i have number of rows so first row I'm, i will ask him if he if he mad or not so let me just design my layout from using this tool then i would ask him if he is uh, 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 male or female then i would ask him if he graduate or not then i would ask him i would do see the result by clicking the button then i will see the result by showing the web view so first of all you see i have four of them so first of first thing let me ask him if he's married or not so so i uh, first i have label for example so i would say status here for this label status and this is status i have to ask him if he married or not so it's selection maybe yes or not so i have to use checkbox let me add checkbox here so see here's a checkbox if you see this is a checkbox uh, the checkbox also uh, have a lot of properties let me check for the checking he say yes uh, slash no just make it more clear in this way so you could change it to the check it or not by default see check it or not as you as you want how how you want to use it you could use it this is for status so uh, for the second thing i'm asking if if he married if uh, if he male or female so there is two selection i have i add another label this label will be for gender and the gender will have two things male or female see i cannot see that because this one taking over the screen so just let me change it to the uh, rub content if i am working with the gender so i have gender but i have two things i have either male or female so i have options so i have to use a group of selection i have radio button but i need to use a group of them i cannot use one of them so i make sure adding a group and inside the group i will add two radio button i would say this first one inside this group and this second one will be inside that group just uh, doing single radio button with yes or, or not so okay i say okay here is it for male and this one for female be male in this way yes if you see they are they he arranged them vertically i will i know that because this layout is taking all the screen high let me change the rough content will be better you see the male and female one under another you could change uh, the orientation for the layout by going to the this is where is the group then you, you go here say orientation let me say horizontally let's be better yes so when i change the orientation horizontal you see them taking only the part that, that for them if you see now uh this one take over the screen because the white that i give it to him i think i think it's because taking some weight yes taking one as a weight so it's better to give uh as a, as a ratio button taking weight it's by default so let me give this one zero so it could take only default value see just when adding layout weight is, is damaging my layout he added by default so now it's more clear i have gender male or female you could add it one and the other by just going here to your radio button and say no i want to arrange my content uh, vertically because I, I need to see it vertically so you, you could do that yes you could say okay i would arrange this data vertically one under another but if you see there is still missing some some space missing or the uh, height you, you have to change it let me say i would change it to 100 p p or too much 100 let me make it 15 pt yes that's great the gender will be male or female let me go next to the third point if he, uh, we said if it graduate or not 
so let me add another label I would say this label will be first of all I, I have to make sure from what I'm doing so this is my layout I make sure is wrap content then I go to is content then I change this one to is is the grad let's say is why something went wrong I would say is a grad is a grad yeah sometime you have some problem that's okay I would say okay is a grad I'm asking is he grad is he graduated so I would not use checkbox this time this time I'm using a different tool this is switch yes or no so you could use it this one is switch between yes and no uh, so you could set text for yes what you want to what you want to show for example what you want to display in yes I would say yes for no I would say no you could display any text you could, you could make it as checked or not it depend on your work so for example I would add a checked that's okay now I have everything now I have uh, this one and have this this wrap content now I want to see the result so I have to see the result in the text view or the result will be down in the end here is the result so I don't need to add anything in this label but here I want to add a button for checking the result so here is the button here you go this is a button for uh, hmm, let me make sure from everything so I don't want to damage my work as you see this is uh, yes this is this is the layout for rob content and this also much parent make sure change everything to rob content so i could not i do not manage my work damage my works so i make sure everything is clear now just this one will be app not not this way sorry i will go back again i don't want to add it inside it i want to add this one down not inside it so yes i have this switch this button now everything is good this is the result everything is clear the button have to be check now for checking the result now yes everything is good on a click what I have to do I say like uh, BU uh, check in this way mm, check if I go to the code you see, for the button I would see the button looking for BU check if I click on it I could create the event now I have the event I want to access the component so the component have to have to have naming convention so I could access to them so this one checkbox I will name it checkbox status okay checkbox st status this way this one for mail I would say ratio button mail this one will be radio button female and this is one this one will be switch switch for switch for example a grad you could name it any naming convention then here I display the result I would say text view result I'm sure every, all the naming convention is clear but just I think here I have some naming is not clear I would say ratio button mail just just naming convention and also here checkbox I change it again checkbox is the that's just I just doing naming convention now I have all the tool here now let me go to the code okay what I have first I have checkbox so I will say okay I have checkbox check well what check let me make sure I was named here. Uh, that's the name of this tool. It is checkbox, man. So this is the checkbox. So first of all, I need to define checkbox. I will name it checkbox uh, status. Okay. So I'm making sure this import is a checkbox. Yes. The second one is a radio button. Radio button is radio button male. And uh, there is radio button for radio button female. Just defining. Then I have also what I have. I have a switch. I think yes, a switch. I name it 
switch for a grad yes and that's all what i have i don't think i have any more yes switch for a grad and yes here is it here is all the naming just making sure checkbook is status having naming convention i would just copy this thing i will add them here just doing initialize so yes checkbox i'm doing find the view by id for what r dot id dot checkbox status i could copy this line and add it here for this one also for this one and for this one this one will be a radio button also this one radio button just let me remove this two line so for the first radio button i'm doing radio button mail i'm accessing to mail the second one i'm asking to radio button female so yes i'm making this one a radio button what no this is checkbox so i make sure checkbox status but this one radio button mail radio button mail so don't do a lot of work same time this is radio button radio button female yes that's great the switch i have it here i would do a switch for s switch grad yes you could name it switch, switch grad now i have access into all the items let me do some some result let me say this is the string result equal doesn't have anything wow we forget access into text view so text view takes v display i would say so that we say okay text view display could be initialized from text view then find the view by id hoping this one will make you more strong more strong when you write your code then text view result i think yeah this view result as you display you could name it a name you could change it to this text view result if you want now i have the the result so first i want to check if the checkbox is on so first thing i will say if the checkbox does is check it if is check it if it's already check it that is mean this selection is, is selected already this mean when i chill i select the checkbox here this mean he is yes he is his status is merit so i would say if he, if he yes so citring equal he is merit else if he did not if they did not select this this status so i say he is not merit he is not merit okay this is for first status let me go next let me check for uh, radio button so i'm saying okay if the radio button for mail is checked that's mean he's mail so i will say okay result the origin that i have with the plus equal that's mean i'm adding another result also so he is he is mail this way and adding this this line else she, should be she is female so also she is female because if the original button one is checked that's mean male but it's not checked it should be female because if, if from the layout design we we add them in the group so i could select only one so if this one is not checked it should be the second one is checked so yes well the third part the third one i'm talking about the switch so okay if if the switch is checked that is mean mm, uh, result plus a call also a grad this student is a grad a graduate that's mean uh, else he is not a grad this is not a grad just adding more information is not student is not a grad now I have all the result. I want to display this result in the text view. I say, okay, text view, txt, let me text, what the name it I? I name it text view tv dot set text. I would add the result. So uh, this operation I will do it to get what I have or what I should have in this layout. So let me run it to see my result. Oops. 
I understand what this problem means. So if I go to the code, let me see what's happened. See here, here I have the error on switch. That's mean the switch cannot access to it directly. I don't know why this is, should be a bug. But to fix this problem with Android, uh, they say you cannot use this way, that you cannot use the switch to this check it. I don't know why, so why they don't admit this method. So to fix this problem, I will go to my switch, then set on, I call event for set on check change listener, then I call a new on check change listener. This will be called whenever the status is changes. So you have the body and value for the status. I would add this one as a public. So I would use it as check it. So I would say, okay, let's check it uh, as uh, object I have in the, uh, let's check it, for example, uh, a switch S, I name it. Let's check the switch equal, let's check it here. That's mean whenever the status is changed, I will have it here. It's when it be on, I will have on here. When it be off, I be, I have off here. So now I could use if is a check it instead this one. Then the problem will fix it. As I told you, I don't know why Android do this thing. This, this should be a bug because this method should work. But if it's not work, we fix this problem by doing this operation. Just making sure, yes, everything is work. Now if I say the status, yes, he's married, he's male, and he's a grad. If I click, yes, he say he's male, also he's married, also he is a grad student. If I say this one, he's male, he's married, he's not a grad. If I say male, he is married, also she is female, also this is student is not a grad. This student is a grad. So see from number of checkbox inputs, I could get data. So I have you understand how to interact with this input layout. Thank you for watching.